It's just bouncing off something you said yesterday. Is this one of those situations where it's one of those hopes that one goal goes in and there's just kind of a dam that bursts here uh, with how things Well, we're just trying to get some momentum, yeah. uh, some some sort of swagger, confidence back. and um, Nothing does it better than goals. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so we're just going to go out and play and realize that we're a good team, uh, not lose, yeah. lose yourself there. And... Hope good things happen. You you mentioned that the first win after this kind of losing streak is an uh, usually is an ugly win, and I actually spoke to Nate Lehman the other day. He he reiterated the same thing that usually that first win is an ugly win. Why why is that? Why is it not? I don't know if this pretty win is the right word. But. I, I think well, I, I'm not sure if it's always that way. I just think you're trying to do anything you possibly can to get something going your way. Uh, I, I actually feel sometimes you try too hard and you make some mistakes that way, um, but you just find a way. It, uh, it, 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 I just don't have an answer for you. I, I, I just know we have to find an area of our game that we're not trying too hard and still and have some confidence that we've been a pretty good team this year and believe that and allow the game to come to you sometimes too. When you get into these situations, you just you're going hell bent, and that's when more mistakes happen. We got to find a middle ground there. With Cam York, uh, you know, at the beginning of the year, you said you weren't sure if he was an angel defenseman. Mm -hmm. Then in February, you said he's one of the best defenders on the team. What is it about his game that's grown so much this year that gives you such confidence to con you know put him in at the minutes he's getting? He's, he's got probably one of the best sticks on our team, and, and the the thing that has just exploded on to me this year is just his willingness. Um, block shots. He, he is just one willing player. And I did not see that. It, it, I did not see that. And uh, he, is, he has turned into be a really good player for us, logging a ton of minutes. But the willingness is something that uh, caught me by surprise as, we, as he played this year and, and played more and more. Uh, he's a different guy, and uh, it's a tremendous credit to him. Because he is getting those big minutes right now, he's been on the ice a lot for goals against. How do you kind of counterbalance giving him the minutes and you know not letting the goals against kind of affect him? I don't think it affects him. I, I, I think, and th that's another part of it, is I, I think he's just ready to go off for the next shift. At that position, defense especially, you always get lit up. You know, it, it's always a focus on you know, the last people before the puck goes in the net. Sometimes it happened up the ice with the forwards, but as a defenseman, you always end up eating those. I don't think it affects him. I, I, I think he's got a personality uh, of just getting ready for the next shift and not overthinking. Because what happens, especially with a young guy, and remember, he's played a ton for us. He's a young defenseman. A young guy just starts overthinking and thinks about that mistake while he's going on the ice for his next shift and it just doubles up. I, I think he lets it roll off him and just goes in place. Hey John, I hope you don't mind me asking kind of a bigger picture question, but a lot of young teams stayed at the beginning of the season. Our goal is to play meaningful games in March for our young players to experience that. You recently obviously talked about mm -hmm. that experience with your club. Mm -hmm. Can you, even though it's it's been difficult, can you see what the benefit is for your young players to be playing in these games and what they can take away from it? Oh yeah, 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 because you, you're going through these, these pressure situations, these uh, asking, asking them for more responsibility because of where the season is at this time of year. Um, there are so many, so many good things that come about here, and and we're evaluating it as we go through here. But for me, I'm I'm tired of that line, and I and I've said it a ton in meaningful games. I'm okay. tired of talking about it. For me, is we're that close. You know, yeah. let's let's start thinking about let's get in. And uh, that's where uh, I'm not sure if I've done a good enough job to transfer us into after we played. We, had, we played a, a number of top teams, seven of them in a row. And I don't think we've played to that same level since we've played the rest of our schedule here so far. I don't want us just to feel comfortable. Uh, and that's where we're trying to, uh, in the right way, trying to put them in situations like this. This isn't just about meaningful games. This is about getting in the playoffs. So I want them to experience that. Right. Yeah. And so you've got to be really careful not settling. I don't want us to settle.
Right. And I don't, I don't think our guys have, but I think we're going through some pains here of guys, can they get to that next level of getting in? When you say you're taking information and you're evaluating, I mean, that information has has a value that you wouldn't have if you weren't playing these Absolutely. Games yeah. Absolutely. I, I remember last year when we were done, I don't know how many games were left. It sucks. Yeah. Uh, I have talked about our room all year long. We have a solid room, and we have played, and I just got through telling them, we're a pretty good hockey team. Don't forget that. We've played many, many games in a, in a style of play that we've changed from the year before, and we've been a good team most of this year. We still have time here. Don't forget about how well we've played this year. And uh, that's kind of where we're at right now. And we're kind of, you know, you lose confidence. It, it's... These athletes are men, and but they, they get fragile sometimes and they lose some confidence. We just got to let it all hang out here and believe that we're a really good hockey team. How earlier much, earlier in the year you talked about letting athletes today make mistakes, and now with the pressure kind, kind of getting ramped up, maybe there's a little bit more of a, I don't want to make a mistake. Do you kind of have to remind them that it's still okay? Oh, God, we, we talk about it, it's a game of mistakes. That's not what we're worried about. Uh, both teams are making mistakes. The... The, the, the biggest thing that I, I think what happens at this time of year and then especially in playoffs are just momentum swings, understanding where the game is going. It's just managing the game. So I said the other night, we, uh, I think it was in Buffalo, we score a goal, Pales comes down, beats the defense, means a breakaway, hits the post. Instead of us going bang, bang with the two goals and having a momentum swing that way, it's still tied, you know? And it's all how you handle when it's going against you and how you take off with it when it's for you. I think it's a huge part of these types of games at the end of the year and so much more magnified playoffs. How much That's focus one. How much focus do you put on the standings? Like, is it displayed in the room? Do you ask the players not to no. look at it? Or how do you go about it? No, we, I don't even talk about it. The players know where they're at, uh, especially now. With four games left, they know where they're at. Um, we, I, I know a, a lot of coaches will... I, I just don't do it that way. We have conversations about playing each and every game. Uh, I, I think it's too much to be looking back or looking ahead. It's just about each and every day. And we've gone about our business that, that way all year long. I, I think that's enough. It's just to concentrate on that particular day, that particular game.